First reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 50, verses 4 to 7. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue, that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield from buffets on spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The Word of the Lord Second Reading a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, chapter 2, verse 6 to 11. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The Word of the Lord my dear brothers and sisters and my dear children, today is Passion Sunday, where we call Palm Sunday, the beginning of the most holy week of all of us, the Christians. The church invites all of us to reflect on the passion, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We read today the Passion according to St. Mark. When we go through this reading, dear brothers and sisters, we find that there, seems, that there seemed to be a tension between the Jewish authorities and Jesus. Well, those in the Sanhedrin the scribes, the Pharisees, they all rejected Jesus and they presented Jesus as someone who was going through or who was speaking against the political system that was prevailing. Because at, once, at one time he claimed that he is the king of the Jews. And where were the disciples? Well, the faith of the disciples was shaken. Peter denied Jesus. And then the other disciples just fled away. No disciples were there when Jesus was arrested. Though they claimed that they would protect Jesus. Dear brothers and sisters, if we really go through the gospel, we too find that the death of Jesus is preordained. He was destined to die in obedience to the will of God. This is what we see and this is what is seen very specially in Mark's narration, the Passion narration. He accepted death in obedience to God's will. He was confident when 
the authorities questioned Jesus, he was really silent. He was silent before the accusers. Well, dear brothers and sisters, throughout the week, till we are to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus, we reflect on the cross of Jesus. Because it's by the cross that we were saved. This is our life journey also. We carry all the crosses and that is the will of our Heavenly Father. We have to carry the crosses of our lives. We cannot leave aside the crosses that come our way. We have to carry it courageously because God is there with us. This is the obedience that we should show as sons and daughters of our Heavenly Father, carrying the cross with faith and confidence and in obedience to the will of Father. May God bless you and may you have a beautiful week reflecting on the passion, the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. God bless you.